Now let's look at how we might find the midpoint between two coordinates on a Cartesian plane. So let's say I wanted the midpoint between these two coordinates, the coordinate 1, 3 and the coordinate 5, negative 1. What that's saying is if I drew a line that connected these two points together, a straight linear line, what I'm looking for is the point that's exactly in the middle of these two points, which I'm going to call point M. Now to find the coordinate of M, we break this up in both our X and our Y. So let's just first focus on X, or our horizontal coordinate. So to find the middle of this X coordinate, we want the middle between 5 and 1. Now the middle between those numbers is 3. So we know from that that our x coordinate is going to be equal to 3. Now, if we do the same with our y, we want the middle between negative 1 and positive 3. Now the middle between those two is going to be positive 1. So we know that our midpoint in our problem here is going to be equal to 3 and 1. But this requires drawing a graph, and in mathematics we want to be able to find things algebraically. So in this question here, we've got a nice, easy midpoint to find. But in mathematics, we want to be able to find a midpoint between two coordinates, no matter what the coordinates of that midpoint are, whether they're nice, easy integer values, or they're rational numbers. So, how do we do it? Well, let's consider these two coordinates again. So our coordinates of 1, 3, and our coordinates of 5, negative 1. Well, what we did is we broke this up within our x and our y. So let's label our coordinates accordingly. So for our x, we've got 1, so we'll call this x1 here. And we've got this 5 here, which we'll call our second x value. For our y's, we've got this 3 value here, so we'll call this our first y value. And our second y value is just here, this negative 1. Now, just focusing on our x, what we're actually doing when we're finding the middle between two numbers is averaging. Whenever you want to find the middle between two things, you average those two things together. Now to average something, we need to add them together and then divide by two. So to find this point M, what we do here is we add these two numbers together, so the x1 plus x2 and we divide that by 2. And that'll average or find the middle between our two x coordinates. And we do the same with our y coordinates. So we want to average our y coordinates together, so we want to add them together and then divide by 2. And what we now have is a nice formula that can be used to find the midpoint between any two coordinates that we have. But let's test this out. So we're saying that our midpoint should be the average of our two x coordinates. So our x1 of 1 plus our x2 of 5. And we divide that one by 2. And then we take our average of our y coordinates. So it'll be our y1 of 3 added together with our y2 of negative 1. Now when we do this, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, so it'll be 6 divided by 2, and 3 plus negative 1 will be positive 2, so 2 divided by 2. Now 6 divided by 2 will be equal to 3, and 2 divided by 2 will be equal to 1. So therefore, our midpoint here as we found on the graph, is 3, 1. So to summarise, to find the midpoint between any two coordinates, we can use this formula here, where we find the average of our x-coordinate and find the average of our y-coordinate.